Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. When they say kingdom against kingdom, meaning ruling powers, like the presidents of the earth of today, kingdom got to go against kingdom, read. And there shall be famines. Famines. There are going to be famines, read. And pestilence. That's your coronavirus. Right. That's your Ebola. Right. That's your, remember when they had the West Nile virus back, right. you know yep. what I'm saying? The yep. swine flu. Yep. Bird flu. Bird flu. Mars. We reading about Mars. the pestilence right now. Right. And we getting scared as hell. Oh, I ain't got no water, I ain't got no tissue. Because the Bible is documenting the end of the world. Read that part That's again. Right. <coughs> and there shall be famine. Famines, meaning we're going to have a hard time getting things. And pestilence. Pestilence. That's your diseases. That's your coronaviruses. That's your Ebola. That's your swine flu they always talk about. Right. We have so much stuff coming up right now. It's just coronavirus. Right. Read. And earthquakes. And earthquakes. Read. In diverse places. Come on. All these are the beginning of sorrow. And all this is the beginning of the end to come. You better repent and keep God's commandments as an Israelite. That's our only right. hope. Right. Unless we keep God's commandments, we have no chance. Keep reading. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Read. And shall kill you. Read. And ye shall be hated of all nations. And that's why we hated of all nations, bro, getting out the car. Because God is turning up the heat on us. Right. Christ said it's time to repent and keep his commandments. That's, that's right. what the Bible say. Right. We the Israelites the Bible speak of. That's Give right. me 2 Corinthians, uh, Ephesians 2 and 12. Bring it out. Ephesians chapter uh, 12 verse 2. Give Bring it Ephesians up. chapter 12 verse 2. Because without the hope of Christ, we have, we are doomed. Without the, without Christ coming, we have no hope. If you still in the world, ain't keeping God's commandments. Jesus. Chapter 2 and verse 12. Y'all men over there in the car, listen up. You know it's time that we must wake up and keep God's commandments. Right. Yes, you right there, bro. We got to keep God's commandments as the Israelites. Read right. it. Right. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 12. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope. The Bible say when we without Christ, when we don't keep these commandments, we don't have no hope. Adam, right. Isaac, come here. The Bible say when we without Christ, when we not keeping these commandments, we don't have no hope. The Bible say when we without Christ, read it again. Let's swap out. Give me the Bible. The Bible say we are without hope when we don't keep God's commandments. We don't keep God's commandments. We have right. no hope. That's what the Bible say. Right. We are God's chosen people, the Israelites. Hey, bro, I want you to come over here and listen to this for two seconds. Come listen to this right now. You need this. Read that for me, y'all. Come listen to this right here, bro. What's your name, man? Come get a flyer from him. Come get a little pamphlet we can pass him out. Give him a flyer right there, bro. 2 and 12. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 12, that at that time were ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope. Listen to this, bro. What's your name, man? No. We out here preaching the word of God, dumb. We're trying to wake our people up to who they are. All right, my name Lavin. We teaching that we God's chosen people, the Israelites. That's right. I want you to listen to this one scripture for me. Read that. That's good. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 12, that at that at that time ye were without Christ. Once we without Christ, meaning we're not keeping these commandments, we without Christ, we being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel uh -huh. 
and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope. Having what? Having no hope. If we were without Christ in this world that we live in, we don't have no hope. Right. Ain't no hope for salvation. We done. Right. I'm trying to show you the way to salvation is keeping God's commandments, knowing your true history, your identity, right. that you are Israelite. That's right. That's, That's right. who you are. We've been lied to all our life. Right. We've been lied to. You've been lied to. All I want you to, I want to ask you one question. How we come from the land of Africa to America? How old are you, bro? 29. You know what's the history of black people. Talk with me. What's the history of black people? I know, I mean, we hear a whole bunch of stuff. I want to stick with one topic, one point, for one second. What's the history of black people? How we come from the land of Africa, right, to America? That's what they say happened, right? Ain't that what they say happened? This look familiar to you? Something called slavery. You understand? Something called slavery. How we come from the land of Africa to America? How? What mode of transportation? We flew on a plane? What's your name again? Dunn. Dun. Stay with me, Dunn. Oh. You know this. How we come from the land of Africa to America? How, Dunn? We flew? We spoke me on the boat. Right. right. You, you know that's a fact. Bring it out. They make movies about black history. We came over here on a boat, a ship, slave ships. That's right. Right, right. right or wrong, Dunn? Huh? It's a historical fact. You can't fight that. I don't care who I don't care who you are. If you're a historian, we claim we have some type of knowledge. Anybody can agree to that. We all can agree that happened, right? Right. All right. That's done. Read Deuteronomy 2868. The Bible said we came over here on slave ships. As history says, we came over here on slave ships. Right. That's right. Right. You understand, Don? So when the, the flyer says the truth about slavery, it's going to give you a way out. Right. The Bible says you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's right. You understand? Stay with me, Don. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Great. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. The Bible says we were going to go into slavery on slave ships. Right. That's right. That's that did right. not happen to the Chinese. Right. That did not happen to the East Indians. Right. That did not happen to no other race of people but us. Right. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And once we came over here on them slave ships, we never went back to see our homeland as a people again. Right. And there, and there when you get off them ships, ye shall be sold. What? Ye shall be sold. 25, 35, 45. Sold to Master Charles in Virginia. Sold to Master Smith down in Jackson. Right. We unto your enemy no your friend unto your enemy the bible says we'll be sold unto our enemies right. you understand that done that's what the bible says the same bible everybody else got hold the sign for me it say cash hold it men women and children you got him on an auction block right here a little 12 13 year old boy right next to him is a little uh, uh, a mama with a baby right. the bible says this done a historical fact a historical Fact. You understand, Don? Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. We never seen our homeland again. I don't care who you are. You can agree this is historically accurate. That's Read. Right. And there, and when you get off those slave ships, you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women. And slave women. Right. Just like they sold a black man, believe it or not, they sold a black woman. They were sold on auction blocks. And guess yeah. what? We reading that out the Bible. You ain't gonna learn this in your Christian church. Right, the right. pastor ain't teaching this. Right. Be in the last days trying to save your soul right. by letting you know you an Israelite and you must keep God's commandments. That's, right. Right. That's your only hope. Because without this, without Christ, you don't have no hope. You ain't you, you when when it's time to die, your soul will be forever gone. There will be no eternal life. You understand, Don? Why would God put us through slavery? If there is a God, why would he put us through all that? Put that down, officer. And ask yourself that question. Deuteronomy 28, 15. If yeah. there is a God, why would... Sister, I got a question for you back before you go. If there is a God, why would he put us through slavery, sister? She don't want to know the answer. That's what's wrong with our people. We don't want to know these answers. Bring but we up. need these answers to get salvation. Right. right. Why would God, done put us through slavery like that? Why? Thank you, sister. Thank you. So he can bring us back closer to him. 
We went through that because we broke God's commandments. Yes, right. Deuteronomy 28, 15. What I'm about to read, what I'm about to read is on the front of the flyer. Go, Officer Barzilla, come point out Deuteronomy 28, 15 to him. You see it? We finna read that together. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. Look, it shall come to pass. Meaning it's gonna happen in the future. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God told these people that they not listen to observe to do all his commandments and, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said if we did not listen we will be cursed. That's, right. That's what the right. Bible said. Go to verse 48 now. Yeah. Done. Drop down to the next paragraph. You see it? Deuteronomy 28 verse 48. You see it? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Because we did not listen to God, because we broke his commandments, he said, Therefore shall you serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. He goes, you got to serve your enemy for food, water, clothing, anything you want. You got to go to another nation of people. Right. Another right. race of people, done. Read. And he, this same man, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. He gonna put chains on your neck. Right, right. Until he hath destroyed you. Those are real images. That's why we got it right there. You understand, Dom? You are more than who you think you are, brother. That's right. That's right. You are Israelite. That's right. And we went through this because we disobeyed our God and we still doing it to this day. That's right. That's right. You understand that? Who was those people? Deuteronomy 27 and 1. Now, ask yourself this question. Who was those people that did not listen to God? What did God call those people? What was their name? What was their race? Deuteronomy 27 and 1. Who was Moses talking to? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Don, stay with me, Don. Who is Moses talking to? The elders of who? Listen up, listen up. And Moses, what I'm saying, no, I want to I make sure, is what, what we bringing out, is this making sense to you? Like, are we making up anything? Huh? So is it making sense though? Yeah. Is it making sense? So all praise to the Most High. That's all I need. That's all we want you to see. Right. Connect the dots for yourself. And then once you do that, God going, he going, if, if this is meant for you, you'll start to grow with it. You'll begin to change. Right. First off, you gotta learn who you are. So we're trying to show you, hey, this happened to us, your nation of people. So dang, who is these, who is these people God is talking to in the Bible? Let's out. find out a little bit more. Deuteronomy 27 and 1. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and verse 1. Bring it out. Moses with the elders of Israel. Who was Moses talking to? The elders of who? Israel. Come commanded the people say keep all the commandments which i command you this day what did moses tell those people those children of israel to keep he did he say be baptist right there did he say be catholic right there he didn't give us no religion he said keep the commandments yes, right. thou shalt not kill thou shalt not steal right. don't bear false witness don't commit adultery don't be an idolater don't break the sabbath day those are commandments read First, you want to read it again? Verse 1. And the Mos and Moses with the elders of Israel. Done. Look at this sign. These are the children of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel today. Today, if you're American black, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. If you're a West Indian from the islands of Jamaica or something like that, you'll be from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. If you Haitian on the island of Santo Domingo, uh, you'll be from Levi. If you Puerto Rican, you'll be from the tribe of Ephraim. It ain't just no black power thing up here. We got to get all the 12 tribes. Right. right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand? That's what it's about. God said we just chosen, but we fell from being great. Deuteronomy 28, 43. We fell from being the greatest people to now we at the bottom. Right. We getting high, we getting drunk, we killing each other, we hate each other. Right. We don't know who we are. What's your name, bro? Okay, how old are you? 
24 young brother. We teach you that we the Israelites. You guys chose the people. We teach you Don, he's an Israelite. You, you an Israelite. He's an Israelite. But we don't know it because we fell to the bottom for breaking God's commandments. And we went through slavery, right, Don? Then we just read slavery out the Bible. Do you know about slavery? Do you know, bro? Do you know about slavery? Come here, I gotta ask you a question. Like you're a man with some, some knowledge on you. Come here, bro. Do you, as us as a people, how do we get from the land of Africa to America? How? I just asked Don that. We just went through with him, and I believe he really got it. I'm asking you, historical fact. Let's stay with that one fact for right now. How we go from the land of Africa to America? You What mode of transportation? You brought by a boat. A what? A boat. That, that, it, is he right, young man? Did you know that? That's right. They make moves about it. And you were made to run the boat over here. Right. Now I'm asking you a question. Did people die on that boat? Did they throw us over the boat and sharks follow the boat? Yes, they did. And guess what? Is that historically accurate? Bring it out. Is that a fact? Are we making stuff up? It's a fact, but they don't teach you that. They don't want you to know the real truth. Right. Guess what? That truth is in the King James Version Bible. Right. That's God right. showed us through history that is actually right. That's and right. guess what? God's people went through that. Yeah. So if God people went through that, we went through that, who are we? Who are we? God's children. Right. Now I'm going to read it out the Bible so you know I ain't making this up. Read that. Listen. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. What's your name? Ambrose. Ambrose. Done. Marquez. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. God told us the other nations that surround us going to get above us very high. Right. Right. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. We came down low. That's why we on the bottom of society. Right. That's why we hate each other. That's why we will shoot each other. Right. Now, you see another black man said it's just another nigga. Unless he from my hood and I know him. Right. Unless, yeah. unless, yeah. unless yeah. I just yeah. know yeah. him. Yeah. We want to hit that real fast. Read that. The book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 1. New Testament. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simon that were called nigger. Simon was called what? Nigger. And spell it. N-I-G-E-R. So N-I-G-E-R is in the Bible, nigger. Some people might say Niger or Nage. It's a play on words, but all it means is black when you really do some research and look it up. Right, right. So the prophet right there, he was so dark they called him Niger or pronounced nigger. Yeah. All I want to show you is the prophets were black. Right. Right. King David was black. Right. Jeremiah right. was black. Right. Came from the black man. You're right. And what was you're right. He's right. actually he's absolutely right. That's right. The white man come from us. All nations come from us. Right. Adam was a black man. But like you said, we don't know that. But I got a question. What is the nation? What is the race that God actually chose? Deuteronomy 7, 20, uh, 27 and 1. What is the nation? What is the race God actually chose? Don already got it. He said he didn't listen. He found out. We weren't making nothing up. God chose one particular race. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. You're not going to learn this in your Christian church. Right. That's why we're going through it scripture for scripture right. and breaking it down. Right. Read. And Moses with the elders of Israel. With who? With the elders of Israel. No, Moses was with everybody. With the elders of Israel. Read it plain, brother. It got to say he was with everybody. And Moses with the elders of Israel. The Bible says what it says. Read. Commanded the people, say, keep all the commandments which I command you this day. So God told Moses to tell the children of Israel to keep the commandments. Nothing else. No Baptist, Catholic, Mormonism, Pentecostal. He didn't say all that. He said keep the commandments, and he's only talking to the children of Israel. Right, right. That's who God loved, Bring the children of Israel. Joel 2, 27. God only, believe it or not, God only dealt with the children of Israel. That's right. And right. by us disobeying our God, he put us through slavery. Right. And we trying to wake you up spiritually in these last days. Right. Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Come on. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. Let that name Israel sink in. Read. 
and that I am the Lord your God and none else. What? And none else. Come on, bro. What? And none else. God has not changed. Malachi 3 and 6. God has not out. changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Right. You understand? From Old Testament to New Testament, God only dealt with the Israelites. That's right. Yes, Adam was a black man. All nations did come from us. But one particular nation God is only dealing with. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, and verse 6. Bring it out. Well, I am the Lord. I change not. What? I change not. God don't change. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Because he loved, up, loved us from the beginning, we still here to this day. Right. We should have been wiped off this earth. Right. But God loved us. Romans 11 and 1. The Apostle Paul. The Apostle Peter. The Apostle John. Matthew. Luke. They showed them as Caucasians. Right. Christ was what color? If, if what if, color if, was if, Christ? Was what could not everybody was black? We can read about white people in the Bible. Yeah, we can read about what color was Christ? What color was it? Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 1. Yeah, I say then, Romans, this is Paul writing, writing to the Israelites that lived in Rome. Right. Black people lived in Rome. Right. Yes, read. I say then, as has God cast away his people? Done. God didn't cast away his people. Right. God has not cast away his people. Right. Read. God forbid. God forbid. No. For I also am an Israelite. What Paul say? For I also am an Israelite. Paul said he's an Israelite. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Tribe say I'm an Israelite of the seed of Abraham from the tribe of Benjamin That's in the right. New Testament. Right. Paul would be from Benjamin. Today that would be the West Indian blacks. Or you might say Jamaicans. And most people it, it correlates to that a little bit better. You can see it in your mind. Right. Paul would be from the tribe of Benjamin as today. And guess what? This is New Testament. And he's still talking about where he's from. Because right. believe it or not. God is only dealing with the children of Israel, and that is us. Right. But we don't know it. You understand? We're the children of Israel. Right. All right? And as the children of Romans 9, stay in Romans 9. Go to Romans 9, verse 4. It's only about the Israelites. Right. right. Christian pastor got the same Bible we got. They not going to teach this. Right. They not going to show you this because they don't have the understanding not to bash them. My daddy a preacher. My grandpa, uncle, pastors. We just don't understand. We went through slavery and we got indoctrinated. Right. And we still got to shake that off of us. Right. Read the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Let that name sink in. To who pertained the adoption? The adoption of the new covenant is only for the Israelites. That what the Bible, hold on, did it say everybody can be adopted in, brother? Who are Israelites? The Bible says what it says. To who pertaineth the adoption, read, and the glory, and the glory, and the covenant, old covenant, new covenant, for the Israelites, right. read, and the giving of the law, because the law commandments were given to who, to who, Don, who were the commandments given to, the Israelites, that's right. That's right. and for breaking the commandments, Don, what happened to us, we went through slavery, that's right, you got it, Don, now to get out of this hell, what we got to do? If we disobey God, now what we must do to get back on God's good side, what we got to start doing? You got to do the right thing and obey God. We got to start obeying God, which is what? Keep thanking. That's, right. that's, that's right. what that's we got to do. And do what he said. That's what, he, that's what we got to do. Now, look at Kiss 21 and 5. Bring now we up. know that we got to keep God's commandments. The next thought process should be, well, dang. What are some of these commandments? Right, right. That's the next thought process. Read it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. They shall not. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. The Bible said we shouldn't bow our head or shave our beard. That's a commandment. Right. It may be a small commandment, you may think, but that's a commandment. We got to let our beards grow. You got to let your beard grow. You can keep it, you can keep it low. If you want to, like his, he got his kind of kind of medium. 
You know what I'm saying? You can have it, you know, kind of low, but if you want to have a, like a Rick Ross, you can do that. Right. But the Bible say, you got to let your beard grow as a man. That is a badge of manly dignity. Right. First thing you do when you go to the army, what the white man say? Cut all that hair off. Cut them off. Right. Cut it off. Shave it bald. Clean shave. Clean shave, boy. Bring it up. Yeah, right. Boy, right. tell you mean, boy, I'm a 29-year-old, 30-year-old man. Right. right. But that's psychologically how they do us. And that's a commandment of God. Right. Read on. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Nor make any what? Cuttings in their flesh. What's that talking about? Don't make any cuttings in your flesh. Right, give me that precept. 1920, you know what I'm talking about? He said, don't make, bow your head, shave your beard, or get any tattoos. Now, some of us got tattoos, yeah, but we don't get no more once we find out. Right. Because as an Israelite man, that is a commandment of us. Now, we read about all the stuff about Israelites. Because everything that we was doing and breaking God's commandments, we got from the Egyptians. <laughs> We was in slavery under the Egyptians first. Right. Yes, a dark race of people had another dark race of people in slavery. Right. The Egyptians had us building the pyramids. And we was doing everything that they was doing. We right. was bowing our head, we was marking our bodies. Read that. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. You heard that? Don't make any cuttings in your flesh. For the dead, nor... Cause we always like to get like our, our somebody died in our family, or one of our homeboys. Right. Read. Nor print any mark. Nor what? Nor print any mark. Now it's getting a little bit plainer. Don't print any marks upon you. That's what the Bible say. That's a commandment. That's one commandment. We probably it ain't in the Big Ten. It ain't in the Big Ten, but that's a commandment. Right. The Bible say don't do that. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Bring it up. The Bible say don't do that. As Israelites, we gotta start holding ourselves to a higher standard. Right. That's right. Because believe it or not. You think God coming back for, for African Americans? He coming back for everybody. Hold on. What about what scripture say that? What scripture says well, that? No, well, no, he's not coming back for everybody. If you're not right, you're not gonna get caught up in the rapture and go with him. You got to see the whole life down here. Now your not now everybody that's dead, they will rise, their spirit will rise. Mm -hmm. Their body don't be mm-hmm. Everybody mean like all races? Well, the children of God. Who the children of God? Black. You got some more people in that color gonna go to him too. Now it's not about a black power thing up here. No, it's I, about I'm saying, I'm saying, go ahead. I'm saying you got some people in the and in the in the in they gonna go to him too. Who says who going to heaven? You got to deal with oh, you gotta be right standing for God himself. And ask Jesus for forgiveness. Alright. You know, I'm talking about the 12 gates, Revelation uh, 20 and 12. Yeah. Only people that's getting the kingdom of heaven are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. That's right. If you ask, because those are, look at the sign for them. You got 12 tribes of Israel. You got American black, West Indian black, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cubans, Dominicans, Guatemala to Panama. Some of them may look a little, look, may look European, but they not. You know, they, you can tell, like, they ain't quite white. They got a little something into them. That's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you I got Guatemala to Panama. You got American Indian, Seminole Indians, mm -hmm. Colombia to Uruguay. You got not. You got Mexicans, Aztecs. You got Argentina to Chile. Yeah. Now this right here covers a different colors of shades of brown, light skin, dark skin, right. different textures of hair. It's not about a dark skin black power thing up here. It's about a chosen seed. That's right. You see what I'm saying? It's about the bloodline. Thank you. It's about the bloodline. Cause you, you, like he could be black. I could be black, but really, I might, I might be a Native American Indian. He, he really might be a dark skinned Mexican. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. But for the you most, know where your bloodline come from. you know by your father. That's and right. At the end of the day, it's all based on faith. Right. If you believe what we bringing out, it's based on faith. But if a, if a, if a European come up here and he says I'm European and he knows that he don't fall under these twelve tribes, I can't do nothing about that. The Bible did not choose him to be of the chosen seed right. Right. so his his faith his faith meaning what's determined for him will be different than what's determined for us right now believe it or not some of us up here laws will and just because you are a israelite that don't mean you just get you know you, you get a free pass into heaven right you're right we still have to do the work of god and believe and keep his laws That's right. right you understand All right. read that read that the book of revelation but god i'm gonna show you 
You can run. If, once I say this, if you run, that's on you. God don't love everybody. Right. right. Read. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Read Come on. Up. And had a wall, great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. So people say it's one big pearly gate into the kingdom of heaven. Right. It say 12 gates right here in the Bible, though. Read. And had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels at the gates. Read. Bodyguards. Read. And to keep people from getting in. Right. Letting you know, okay, you can come in, you can't come in. Read. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hold your horses. Hold up. Hold on, champ. Bring it out. The Bible says names on the gate of the names of the 12 tribes of who? Of the children of Israel. It's still talking about the children of Israel from Old Testament to the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. Right. And we ain't getting away from who are the who are these children of Israel. We breaking it down. You are the Israelite. Right. You are an Israelite. Right. You are an Israelite. Right. And it's determined by your father. You understand that? Romans 9.13. It's determined by your father. Like if a black man, if a black man sleeps with a white woman, we might say that's a mixed baby. In God's eyes, there ain't no such thing as mixed. Right. Okay, God says, Whatever the father is, that's what the baby is. Right. If a black man sleep with a Chinese woman, it's still a black baby. Now, if a white man turn around and sleep with a black woman, a white man have a baby with a black woman, God says, whatever the seed is, that that, that is, he's a white man, then the baby's white. Right. right. You understand? Right. That's what the Bible say. So ain't no confusion. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Read up. As it is written. I need all three of y'all to listen to this. I need all three of y'all to listen to this so we can be on one one accord. I'm going to let y'all y'all tell me what they're saying. Read. Read As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What that mean? He said, what now? Read it again for him. It shocked him. It shocked him. Hate in the Bible. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What that mean? He saw one from the 12th tribe. He started speaking in tongues over there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what to say. But this brother here, man. What you said? He wasn't a member of the 12th tribe. He wasn't part of the 12th tribe. What you say? <laughs> huh? You don't know what to say. <laughs> you want you a you exactly right. God did not choose the line of Esau. But let's keep reading down. Verse 14. What shall we say then? So what are we going to say now? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is God unrighteous for saying he hate a race of people? God forbid. No, he's God. He can do what he want to do. He That's made right. everything. That's right. For, verse 15. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So God said, I'm going to have mercy on who I want to have mercy on. I made everything. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That's God. So jump over to verse 5. No, verse uh, 6. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Listen up. He said, Jacob I love, Esau I hated. He chose to love a nation. He chose not to love certain nations. You better be thankful he chose to love us. Right. right. Read. Not as though the word of God had taken an effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Right. Meaning that everybody who's an Israelite, they really not going to believe it. They're not going to keep God's commandments. They're going right. to be some wicked Israelites. Right, right. But even though they're wicked, they still have a chance to change and repent. Right. But the other nations, they don't have that same chance. Right, right. We all right here, standing right here, from black, Hispanic, and Native Indians, we actually have a chance. Right. We, Verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. My brother, right here. You said, you, you was on point. You said what you said. Esau wasn't of the 12 tribes. Let's listen to this and you tell me what this means again. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they came from Abraham. No, remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Read. Are they all children? Yeah, because they come from Abraham, they don't make them all children. Right. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Because the God chose the, the seed through Isaac line. Abraham Isaac and Jacob. Right. Jacob name was changed to Israel. So if they come through that line of Isaac and Jacob, 
God chose them. Read. Verse 8. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. The children of the flesh mean the children of uh, Hagar. When Abraham slept with Hagar. Read. These are not the children of God. They are not what? These are not the children of God. They not a part of the promise because they didn't go through the line of Isaac. Right. They not God's chosen. Right. They ain't the children of God. Read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed which came through Isaac. Right. You understand? Now, Psalms 147, 1920. You understand that? Psalm 139, I think. 139, 19. God, he didn't choose everybody. I think you understand that. Right. So when it comes, let's hold on. Go to John 3, 16. Let's go ahead and knock that out right now. I want to knock that out the park. I tell you, you know, you did quote that earlier a little bit. So if God made everybody, and he said, God so loved the world, but what is John 3, 16 talking about? Break it down. Let's huh? see. John 3, 16. Read. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Read it For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth, believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I right, close the book. Let's pack it up and go home. I guess that means everything we said is a lie now. That's my word. Let's go home. No, that ain't what they're saying. Right. The slave master used that against us in slavery. Right. So we can read now. We can understand now. All that stuff I just brought out, all that stuff this brother just read, all the historical facts that you know to be true, everything we showed you, it's the, we are still God's chosen. Right. right. So when it comes to who does God love, we just read, Jacob I love, Esau I hate it. You said Esau must not be another chosen. So when it comes to John 3, 16, we still got a mental block. Right. We still got a spiritual hang up in our head. Right. Because that's called we, us being indoctrinated in slavery. Right. Now it's time to get unindoctrinated. So let's start at John 3, verse 1. And understand. Read. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. Nicodemus was a ruler of who? Of the Jews. Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. The Jews were the Israelites. Christ was a Jew. Read. Verse 2. And the same came to Jesus by night. Because he was a man who came to Jesus by night. So jump to verse 12. Verse 12. If. if no, that's the uh, 14. Verse 14. Listen up. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So. Jesus and Nicodemus, two Jews, having a conversation. And when you read on down, he says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Somehow they get upon the topic of Moses in the wilderness. Who was Moses talking to in the wilderness? The children of Israel, right? right. Like we read already, right? 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 Come on down. Read. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. This was Christ saying. The same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. Even so, Christ must be lifted up. Because in the wilderness, they had poisonous snakes come and bite them, and they started dying. So Moses said, look, put up, let's read it. Let's read it. Go, go to it. Numbers 21. The same way that the children of Israel had to look up, think about, you ever seen an ambulance? What's the symbol of an ambulance? They got like a pole with like a, something wrapped around it. A snake wrapped around it. You know what I'm talking about? Every medical Facility ambulance got that symbol on there. Right. You, understand? you know, you know, you know they done? They come from the Bible. Right. Read. The book, uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 21 and verse 5. Right now you're going to get the real history, quick history, real fast. I'm going to let y'all go. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loathed this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. So sent poisonous snake because they started complaining. Moses out there with the children of Israel, us. We out there talking like, dang, man, we came out of Egypt. We hard-headed back then. We hard-headed today. Right. We complaining about every damn thing. We was complaining back then too. Right. So God said, man, I'm tired of these people. Let some poisonous snakes go through there and start biting them. Right. Read. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they did bite the people, and much people of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. With me, Don? You with me? Read. And much people of Israel died. You see that? Read. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord. 
and against thee. I pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. You see that? You see that? Right. Let's keep reading. You a smart brother. Read. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses. The Lord, the Lord said this. Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. Make you a serpent like the same image they got on the side of the ambulance and put it on the pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is beaten when they look upon it shall live. So when they looked upon this this pole that had a serpent around it, you look upon it, you will be you will be healed. You will live. You won't die. Go back now. You won't die because it was uh, based on their faith. God said it. Once I look on it, I got bit by this poisonous snake. I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna be made whole. Right. So back to John three verse fourteen. The book of John chapter three verse fourteen. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, you see that? As Moses, what we just read, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Christ got to be symbolically lifted up the same way. That's why he died on the cross. He was right. lifted up. Read. Right. Verse 15, that whosoever believeth in him. So why would we get to whosoever now? We think they mean the Chinese, the Japanese. Give me that. The Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indian. We just read about the history in the wilderness with Moses as the serpent. So must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever, when we hear that word, whosoever, we think anybody. No, it's still not anybody. Who is the people it's talking about? Right. Right. 2.21. Right. The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Listen up, ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. The whosoever is the men of Israel. That's right. The whosoever That's right. is the whosoever. Like I'm going to put a, you got a, a refrigerator in your house. You got another one say that in, in your house or your refrigerator say, Whosoever want any, well, whosoever wants something to drink or something to eat, just go ahead and get it. Who are you talking about? The whole world or people in your house? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Read that again. Back to uh, John. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 14. Oh, verse 15. That whosoever, whosoever of the nation of Israel believeth in him should not perish. Meaning once you believe on Christ, Whosoever of the nation of Israel, you're not going to die. Because he, Christ, came as the ultimate sacrifice. Because right. under Christ, you get forgiven. Under Moses, you of certain laws, if you was a homosexual, you weren't forgiven. If you broke uh, the Sabbath, you weren't forgiven. If you was an idolater, you wasn't forgiven. Now under Christ, under Christ now, you're forgiven. Right. If, if you keep God's commandments and repent. Right. right. Read. Verse 15, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Verse 16, for God so loved the world. Now it says God so loved the world. Who is the world? The world of who? Give me the world. Who is the world? You said it, huh? The world of Israel. The world of Israel. Isaiah 45, 17. The Bible explains itself, brothers. You getting the understanding now. So next time you go to church and they try to read you this John 3.16, you know the Bible is talking about the world of Israel. That's right. That's what it's talking about. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Israel. With an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. You're not going to be ashamed anymore. Read. World without end. Done. He said Israel is a world without end. So in John, read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. Pay close attention and y'all tell me what this means. Y'all tell me what this means. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Go back now. So what did he call Israel? A what? A world without end. Right. So when it says right. the world, it's talking about different meanings. Like you have a sports world, you have a a a a, a sea world, uh, you have an world. animal world. Third world. Yeah, it's a third world country. So the word world have different meanings. Right. So when it says John three sixteen, God so loved the world, it's talking about what? The world of Israel. That's, right. That's Thank right. you, my brother. You own. Read. 
The book of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world, the world of Israel, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ the black Messiah, that whomsoever believeth in him, whomsoever of Israel believe, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16 right there. Right. We finally got the understanding. Right. Now, if we say we love Israel, we got to do what God said. If we say we love God, we got to do what God said. We say. used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.